It's Applement. Welcome back again to my channel. So by the title, you guys know what I'm doing today. I am a Pokemon fan. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love Pokemon. I grew up with it, and I've always wanted to create my own evolution for the missing types. There are so many that don't exist that should. But I'm going to be putting a twist on it. I'm not only creating an evolution, but I'm also going to be creating a gym leader that goes along with said evolution. But before we get into that, I just want to mention a quick thank you to the sponsor of today's video, which is Arteza. Thank you so much. Arteza is going to be sponsoring a giveaway for the 120 set of their Everblend alcohol ink markers. I've used their set of 60 markers in the past. This is the first time I have my hands on the 120 set. So I'm pretty excited because you guys know, um, you might know, I don't know, that I, that I like markers. Anyway, in partnership with Arteza, I will be giving away a brand new 120 set of these markers. To find out how to win, just keep watching the video. I will have information on the giveaway later in the video. Anyway, let's just get right into creating. I'm gonna start off in Procreate with some sketching and drafting some ideas, and then we're gonna go into the actual full drawing. So I started off by sketching some ideas in Procreate on my iPad. And you'll notice that I wrote ghost because I'm doing a ghost type for this video. However, I actually started with a dragon type because you guys really, really wanted to see a dragon type. And so I want to give the people what they want to see. But <laughs> the dragon type that I came up with, I really wasn't happy with. And I sketched both of these alongside each other, ended up liking the ghost type first. And because there was so much involved in the design for this video, didn't have time to do both, had to just pick one. So if you guys like this series and you wanna see more, I would love to do the dragon type in another one because this whole thing was a lot of fun. I'm just gonna say a little bit about my ghost type evolution. Uh, I had a bunch of different ways I could have gone with this, but something that I wanted to play around with was transparencies and gradients. And so I wanted this Pokemon, when you look at it, you think of one that would uh, disappear and reappear because you know it is a ghost Pokemon <laughs> disappear and reappear and I wanted the feet to be transparent as well kind of to show that it's very uh, not ethereal but very spectral and it goes in and out when it pleases and kind of hops between you know realities whatever you want to say but that's the, the theme and overall idea I was going for um, I'll talk a little bit more about its design soon but when creating a gym leader to go with it I wanted to make something that resembled the Pokemon because a lot of the time you'll see a gym leader that has a lot of elements or I guess the overall shape of a certain Pokemon. Uh, so I wanted to do that same type of thing but not make it like, you know, too exact. Although I did, I, I did use up the same color palette, but I think it works with this. So I, I'll go into all of that as I'm drawing. But as for the names that I'll go into real quick, I came up with a bunch of different ghost words and I wanted to pick something that wasn't too obvious. Like I think ghostion would have been uh, way too obvious. I did not want to go that route. Um, and you know, there's Leafeon, there's Jolteon, Vaporeon. They all have words in there that mean what they are. Leaf for grass type, you know, vapor for water. Uh, so I wanted to pick something ghostly and I went on thesaurus and I just kept looking at different ghost words. I settled upon Bansheon, which I really like because the word Banshee, uh, which is a type of, I think, spirit or like evil ghost thing. I, I forgot what it is, but the word Banshee ends in an E sound and that just flows right into the eon of the name. So I was like, yes, this is perfect. <laughs> uh, so yes, the Pokemon is named Bancheon. And as for the name of the gym leader, I, I'm i just gonna name her Spectra. I don't know, I look at her and she seems like a Spectra and also that's like a ghosty word. So <laughs> that is my name process for both of these characters. So now onto my sketch here. I wanted the pose to be something very like, you know, you encountered her and she's very ready to battle type pose. She's kind of in a stance with her legs spread apart and she's got her Pokeball in hand. Um, I, I'm happy with how the pose came out. 
I will do it later, but I end up doing the dark outline all around that I like to do in a lot of images, and especially with the character design image, I like to have a very thick black outline with my multi-liner, so I do add that in for this, and I think it really helps give it the effect I was going for. For the design of her outfit, I wanted it to be something resembling the Pokemon, but like not too exact. So I gave her two long pigtails in the back because the Pokemon has two tall ears and uh, something that also adds to the wispiness and the flowiness of everything. Um, I, you know, I have those little like smoky things around the Pokemon, but instead of adding smoky things to the, the gym leader herself, I wanted as many things to look like they were flowy on her. And that's why I think that the pigtails really worked, at least the long flowing ones. And I added the Pokemon in between her legs, not transparent feet. I'll get to that in a little bit. Added the Pokemon between her legs. It's her, like, I guess her go-to one. I think all gym leaders kind of have their go-to main Pokemon. So that's what I was going for here. But before I get into all the rest of the stuff, I want to open up my Arteza markers and see what colors we are working with here. So this thing is huge and really hard to fit in frame, but it is the 120 set of alcoholic markers by Arteza. Um, I've tried out their Everblend markers before in the past, but this is the 120 set, which I believe is the biggest set that they offer, therefore has all of the colors. So let's get this open and see exactly what it comes with. Oh my God, this is huge. The case says it holds 144 markers, so I guess that's why there are some spaces in between the pinks, but oh my God, that's a lot of colors. I will say there are quite a few grays, but um, I guess I can't complain about that because this is a 120 set. It's got a few peaches and skin tones, browns. Anyway, I'm going to swatch a few of these colors, see what I want to use, what'll match my color palette for this drawing, and then we're going to get coloring. So I swatched some of the colors on this side. As I said, there was a decent amount of purples. I was able to find a lilac color that was pretty similar to the more normal purple that I had, um, the lighter purple, and then an indigo-like color for the darker purple accents. And lastly, I found a color, I think it was called pearl or something, for the grayish color on here. You'll see I'm using it in her hair and I'm gonna be using it on the body of the Evolution as well. And I really like this color actually. It was like a warm gray with a touch of like, I don't know, pinkish red in there almost. Uh, so this was a cool color and I thought it fit really well. Anyway, for the outfit of the trainer, Spectra, I really liked the scarf. I'm gonna say I think that's my favorite part of the outfit. I wanted the scarf to emulate the tail in a way, kind of with the flowingness of it, but also I wanted it to be a gradient into a lighter color, much like the tail kind of fades out into white. And I also used those little wispy circular things from the Evolution's body on the edges of her dress. So I, I felt like this was all about adding in all of the aspects that I could from the Evolution, not even necessarily just aspects, but like shapes, things that flow. That's what I wanted to bring into her design. Um, but also adding in those little accents where I could on her that made sense without kind of giving it overkill. So I like the simplicity of her design in a way. I think it's simple without being overdone, but it's also not like undetailed. So I'm happy with how her design came out. And I actually didn't have to play around with too many different ideas when creating her outfit, because I guess I already had an idea of what the Pokemon looked like. So it was much easier for me to build something. If you noticed in the very beginning when I was actually sketching Banshee on, I had a bunch of different sketches that I just scrapped because I was like, nope, nope, nope. Um, until I finally settled on an idea that I felt like was going somewhere and then I ended up liking it a lot. For her scarf, you'll notice that I am doing the blending here and it actually blended a lot better than I thought. I normally don't have too much luck with blending with bullet nib markers. They usually come a little bit streaky, but the gradient on here, once I put that lighter purple over the darker purple and really blended it out, the darker purple, I guess, was re-wettened, whatever you want to call it, and um, really faded into the lighter one. So the gradient actually came out looking really good, and I was pleasantly surprised by that with these markers. And I want to spend a little bit more time talking about Bancheon in general. Overall, the little circular wispy parts that I did were kind of inspired by Okami, if you've ever played that game. The main wolf character in there has the 
spirally kind of look because it's like an otherworldly spirit so it's got these like wispy ghosty look almost but it's not a ghost i don't know how to describe it so i wanted to take some of that and add it into the body of the evolution um, and also for the transparent feet for this drawing um not the one in procreate but the one on my pad right here i couldn't really give the feet that look of being transparent because I did add a black background and it was gonna be a little confusing if I did that so I just left it as a solid but I imagine that this Pokemon can go between each as I said earlier I would think that it could be transparent to on it you know at its own will or be solid at its own will whatever it wants to do so right now it's in its battle stance with her ready to fight and so that's why it is what it is but I had a lot of fun with this whole thing, and I think creating the evolution would be the hardest part. Uh, I did go through a lot of different sketches with this, even more so than you saw in the beginning, and I was happy with how it came out, and once I had that done, I think that sketching the actual gym leader was a lot easier because I had something to build off of and some kind of overall look I was going for. So let me know what you think of my Evolution Bansheon and my gym leader Spectra in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. And I'd also love to hear if you guys want to see more of these because if you do, I will do the dragon type for the next time I make a video like this. So that is my creation and now on to my final thoughts. So guys, I hope you really enjoyed what I created today. I had so much fun creating it. As I said, I've always wanted to do this. But like I said, if you want to see me do more of these, if you want to see the dragon type, let me know in the comments below and I can make more of these videos in the future if you guys like it. So as promised, Arteza is hosting a giveaway for a 120 set of their Everblend markers. To join the giveaway, all you have to do is visit the link in my description box below. When you visit that link, it'll take you to a site that has a bunch of different options and ways for you to gain entries. Think of them almost as raffle tickets in a way. You can complete different actions for different amount of entries. The more things you can complete, the more entries and chances you will have at winning the set of markers. You can do as little or as many of them as you want. I wish you guys all good luck. All of the countries that this is available to is in the terms and conditions of the giveaway. If you click on the link below, you will see all of that. So good luck to everybody. I wish you the best. And this giveaway ends next Sunday at midnight Eastern time. All the info again is in the giveaway link in the description box below. Anyway, as always, all of my links are also in the description box below as well. I've got the link to my online shop where you can find my enamel pins, my artwork, everything that I create is there if you're interested in purchasing anything. I also have the link to my Instagram page where you can follow me to see all of the artwork and things that I don't always post here on the channel. And then finally, the link to my enamel pin club that if you're a member of my pin club, you get an exclusive monthly pin and some other goodies. So go check out all the links in the description below if you're interested in any of that. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you had fun and as always, I will see you next Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern time. I hope you have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.